natural materials, including oak and marble, evoke a sense of calm sophistication. Designed to mix and match easily with the pieces you already own, the collection adds style along with functionality and comfort. Elevate your home with our new Voyage collection from Nate and Jeremiah, only at Living Spaces. Meet the traveling trio. The thrill seeker, the soul searcher, and ahoy, it's the explorer, each helping to protect their money with Chase. Whoa, a lost card isn't keeping this thrill seeker down. Lost her card, not the vibe. The soul searcher is finding his identity and helping to protect it. Hey. Oh yeah, the explorer. She's looking to dive deeper, all while Chase looks out for her. Because these friends have Chase. Alerts that help check, tools that help protect, one bank that puts you in control. Chase, make more of what's yours. Big family? Fifteen hungry kids. All right, let's go, go, go! Stater Brothers. Fresh, affordable, community first. Grandkids and grandparents join forces. And now you're going to solve puzzles. Yeah. It's the grand finale of Grand Getaways Week. Tonight at 7.30. From ABC7. Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Now at 6 a.m., UCLA's chancellor under fire. Details on the emergency meeting today amid calls for him to resign. And Mother's Day Beach Blues. We are live as a sewage spill shuts down a popular coastline for the weekend. And a wild scare in Woodland Hills after a woman finds a mountain lion hidden in the trees of her backyard. Good morning, everybody. I'm John Gregory with Rachel Brown and Tony Cabrera. Leslie's off. Let's get a check of the forecast now with Amazing. Leslie Lopez. Happy early Mother's Day. Oh, thanks. Hey, that's nice. Thank you. Um, you know what? It's great to see that mountain lion not attack anybody. Yes. They were really, yes. really close to it. The best video we've seen in such a long time. I mean, the very close footage um, and not recommended. But boy, that mountain lion was very close by in someone's home. Downtown Los Angeles, 72. Heading out the door for Orange County, 72. And if you are traveling out the door, Valley Civil Empire, 84 degrees. Sunshine coming on in this afternoon. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Dia de las Madres too today. I mean, it's really just a lovely day all across Southern California. 66 degrees. If you're traveling out to the mountains, 62. And if you're heading into the high deserts, 82 degrees. More to come in a full forecast. All right, birthday girl. Up next is Brianna Ruffalo. Uh, good morning. Happy Friday. We do have Friday light so far, uh, unless you are near the Cajon Pass. We do have a problem. Uh, it was from an accident that happened much earlier this morning. It looked like shortly after about 1 a.m. where we did have a semi that overturned here. And unfortunately, it's just causing quite a mess on the 138 eastbound. So it's not on the 15. It's before you get to that 15 connector. We have the number two lane that's blocked. And so it is causing quite a bit of traffic as you head east toward the Cajon Pass on the 138. So just know that you're going to hit uh, quite a bit of traffic there. All right. We'll have another check in just a little bit. Rachel, John, Tony, I'll send it back to you. All right, Brianna, thank you. Breaking news and what appears to be a big drug bust in Hollywood. Take a look at this. This is video from moments ago and it looks like a scene out of Breaking Bad. You can see all the kinds of materials on the sidewalk spread out on that white sheet there. This is on Fuller Avenue near Franklin. Police say they have arrested one person, but there is no threat to anyone living nearby. Well, today, the UCLA Academic Senate will be holding an emergency meeting about Chancellor Jean Block. Uh, the faculty group will consider a resolution of no confidence and a formal censure of the chancellor. They say he mishandled the pro-Palestinian demonstrations on campus related violence and the removal of the demonstrators encampment. Yesterday, faculty and staff marched to the chancellor's office to deliver a petition calling for his resignation. The university administration's declaration of the peaceful student protesters as unlawful and unauthorized spurred violence alongside repressive tactics that created an environment of fear and distress for our community. The petition also calls for amnesty for students and staff involved in the encampment and for the university to fully disclose all of its investments. No comment yet from the chancellor. Israel's prime minister says he's ready to stand alone in the fight against Hamas militants in Gaza. That response coming after President Biden warned the U.S. would withhold weapons to Israel if it invades Rafah. Looks like we were supposed to have sound there. Oh, okay, here we go. I've made it clear to Bibi and the War Cabinet they're not going to get our support if, in fact, they go in these population centers. 
More than a million civilians have sought refuge there, but Israel says it's Hamas's final stronghold. The U.S. opposes the ground invasion unless there's a credible humanitarian plan to protect the civilians. So far, Israel has not revealed one.